Cheers! This is what being married is like. You know each other's poop schedule. is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Hello guys and good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I let you guys talk me into trying some weird food combinations. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm excited but I don't know, some of these were questionable. Thank you if you were brave enough to leave me one of your very weird food combinations. But some of them I just can't recreate, like this one. I don't think I wanna recreate that one. But I'm about to get ready to head to the store to get all of the ingredients to make all of these very weird foods. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so I am pretty much ready to go to the store. Don't look at the fact that my bed is not made. That's not what is important right now. But I'm wearing my new Uggs. Look at how cute they are. They're so adorable, I love them. So I definitely regret wearing my new shoes today. It is a very like rainy, just gross, disgusting day. And these shoes are baby light pink. I'll never learn. Don't y'all just love this wide angle lens? You can see my whole car. Okay, I don't think that's as wide. I changed it a little bit. I'm still getting used. Oh, I'm trying to buckle up and I already buckled up. I'm trying to get used to using my GoPro. Anyways, I'm let's not do that that wasn't very safe i'm headed to walmart now just because that's where i do my grocery shopping they pretty much have everything i need there no point in just going around different places when i can just go to walmart and by the way all the suggestions in this video came from my community tab i made a post there and i also made a post on my instagram story so if you're not following me there follow me on instagram and that's how you can get featured in my next video store it was so busy in there that i barely got any footage of me shopping i'm too awkward for that they had everything i pretty much needed in stock it's like 12 noon so i am pretty hungry so i'm gonna go ahead and cook whenever i get home i'm gonna like make a lot of the stuff that i feel like kevin will not like before he gets home but then when he gets home from work i'm gonna make some of the stuff that i think is just like interesting or i feel like he might like and i really want to see his reaction as well as mine so i'm just gonna wait till he gets home to do some of it sometimes i just wish i could teleport home because i hate driving don't you just wish you could just home I wasn't expecting that to actually work. No, but seriously, we are home. We have all the groceries out on the counter. I'm about to put them up and get to making my first meal because I am very hungry. Okay, so the majority of the groceries have been put up and by put up, I mean stuffed to the top of my fridge. But now we're gonna eat some food because like I said, I'm hungry. Let me grab my phone so I can read how to put this together properly. So for this first one, I'm gonna be combining a couple different ones because it's not a snack, it's a full course meal like myself. Okay, call me a cheater, but I got a deli plate. I'm sorry, I love you guys, but not enough to make homemade fried chicken. Sorry, that's just not happening. So I got a Walmart deli plate and I got chicken tenders and mac and cheese. It looks good, doesn't it? Hopefully I'm not gonna ruin it with you guys' food suggestions. Those chicken tenders are hard as a rock. At least the mac and cheese is good. So someone wants me to put ketchup on top of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is already so good. Why ketchup? I'm not gonna lie though. I have put ranch on mac and cheese and I love it. So we'll see. And then I got the chicken tenders because someone wants me to put syrup on fried chicken. I feel like that's gonna taste kind of like how chicken and waffles would taste, but I've never had chicken and waffles. So I guess we're gonna see if I like chicken and waffles. But honestly, I'm not like a sweets type of person. I don't really like sugary stuff as much is savory or salty stuff. And then another person wants me to put mac and cheese with mustard. What's up with y'all and the mac and cheese? Like mac and cheese is delicious. Why y'all just, why y'all putting all these sauces on the mac and cheese? And then another person wants me to do canned corn with mustard. I'm not a huge mustard fan, but let me go grab some canned corn, set everything up, and we're gonna see. Hopefully I don't ruin my food. So 
but we have all of our ingredients. I just feel like I'm not gonna like it. So we'll take one piece and we'll cover it in syrup. I feel like it will make it a little less hard because it is very hard right now. And we have our, what was it, mustard on corn? Half of the corn mustard it smells very mustardy normally i eat my food like all together but i'm gonna go ahead and taste the mustard and corn by itself this piece is very mustardy yum i'm scared okay i feel like i need a bite of chicken after that just regular chicken let me try a little more with some chicken is a strange combo. I don't know what you ever did to even like figure out that you like that. Cause normally people don't have like canned corn with a hot dog. Like what were you eating with that to get a little mustard on it to be like, yes, I love this. That's my question. Now, what do I think of it? It's actually not as bad as I expected. I expected it to be a lot more sour. If you're like a sour lover, I can see why you like the mustard and the corn. It's good with the chicken. Now, if you're eating something with it, like probably the mac and cheese, like all of it together, I don't mind if my food touches so i'll have like a few bites of that with a few bites of that with a few bites of that mix it all together in your mouth i feel like that's good but just the corn and the mustard by itself mm -mm. i probably will not be just topping my corn with mustard now if a little mustard gets on it when i'm having a hot dog with canned corn even though that's a strange combo if a little mustard gets on it i'm not gonna complain it's not too bad but it's just not my cup of tea now let me try the mustard and the chicken gotta have some water first to clean the palate we got a lot of syrup on there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but she's covered. She's actually dripping. Hmm. I feel like that wasn't enough syrup, actually. I'm gonna cover the other side. So now she's drenched. Mm. You know, you may be on to something. I mean, I put honey on my chicken sometimes. Not my fried chicken, but that's actually really good. Like, it doesn't need anything with it either. You don't even need the waffles. Just put the syrup on the chicken. Mm. It actually tones down some of the sweetness. I don't really eat waffles or anything like that because they're just too sweet. I'm not a huge fan of sweet stuff, but that is really good. It tones down some of the sweetness because you're not putting it on something else that's sweet. Like when you have French toast with syrup, it's just too much sweetness. But this is the perfect balance. That's a winner. And it softens the chicken tender because these chicken tenders are freaking hard as a rock. I bet it's so much better on homemade chicken tenders. Wait a second. Mustard corn on top of syrup chicken. That's actually not too bad. It's like a honey mustard. Y'all should collaborate. Put y'all's recipes together. It's actually pretty good. Next, we're doing the mustard and the ketchup with the mac and cheese. First, I'm gonna do the mustard because I like torturing myself. There's the mustard with the mac and cheese. That's actually kind of subtle. I like that. Now, I didn't go overboard and put a whole bunch. Now we're doing the ketchup. Oh, I gotta shake my ketchup so it's not watery. Ooh, I kind of did a lot of ketchup. Ooh. As an anti-ketchup person as well, because you know, ranch is my boo. That's actually pretty decent. One thing you guys should try, if you make eggs with the hash browns in it or the potatoes in it, put ketchup over that, that's really good. That's really the only thing I ever eat ketchup on is my eggs whenever there's like hash browns mixed in. Ew, some of the crust from the ketchup bottle got on it. Wait, what if we try the ketchup and the mustard on the mac and cheese? It's giving mac and cheese hot dog. That mustard, I just can't with it. It's burning my mouth a little bit. Not in a like, I don't season my food type of way, but just like a, I don't know, mustard. Okay guys, I've been editing for like the past few hours, but um, there's this one snack that was recommended that I keep thinking about. So I have got to make it now. It is pickles and they put Sour Patch Straw Bites. Now, when I was looking at the store, I don't know if Sour Patch Bites are like not a thing or they were just out of stock, but I couldn't find them, but I'm gonna use the Airheads. I like pickles. Yes, I'm drinking pickle juice. Pickles are one of my favorite snacks. Kevin doesn't like pickles, like he's crazy. But I've never tried anything like sweet with pickles. People do like Kool-Aid pickles, which I still wanna try sometime. But I'm gonna try these little airhead sour things on the pickle. I really hope that's what they meant, but I'm just gonna wrap this around the pickle. Before we get into the rest of the video, I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys are thinking about starting a new website or blog, I highly recommend you get started on Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy by offering pre-made templates, whether you're looking to create a blog, a portfolio, or an online store. You can also create mailing lists with fully customizable email templates as well. You can also use Squarespace to sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. You can use Squarespace 
place to keep track of what items are selling, the traffic source on your website or store, and so much more. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sierra Ann to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I have her all wrapped up. It's not the best wrapping, but we're gonna try her out and we're gonna see if it's good. My mouth is watering because I've been wanting to try this for so long. Y'all, this is actually so freaking good. What the heck? Mm, I don't know how to explain this. And don't worry, there's a lot more of these with pickles. It seems like all of y'all love pickles, but I'm okay with that because I love pickles too. Another pickle combination you guys wanted me to try was Oreos and pickles. Very strange. Y'all are some strange people. We'll be making y'all try this. I got the miniature Oreos. That looks very wrong. I'm just gonna like bite it with the Oreo on top. I'm actually liking these sweet pickle recipes. This is very weird. This is some like pregnancy craving type food right here. Oreo and pickle sandwich. Call me weird, but I like it. Okay, last pickle recipe, I promise. This one, they want me to do a pickle with a fruit roll up and hot sauce. I don't know about that hot sauce now. The pickle with the fruit roll up sounds fine. So I got the fruit roll up. The hot sauce is on this plastic. I'm just rubbing it all in. I'm scared. Mm. I'm indecisive, I don't know. <clears throat> it's spicy, but I think I actually kind of like it. I probably <laughs> wouldn't do the hot sauce if I did that again, but the fruit roll up with the pickle is even better than the sour straw with the pickle. Y'all have got to try a fruit roll up with a pickle. What the heck? I was not expecting that to be good. Now my tongue is blue. I think I'm just gonna go question my existence. Like, why do I actually like this? No, I'll be back later with another snack or food something. And that's when Kevin should be home. So hopefully he'll try it with me. strawberry syrup and Sprite. And then I added strawberries because I just thought it would look prettier. Do you know how to add a strawberry? No. I didn't do actual milk. I did a little bit of almond milk and then I did some heavy whipping cream because I read a comment where someone told me to use heavy whipping cream. And then this one, someone told me to do some cake okay. and mix it with milk. Now I did almond milk because I don't really like regular oh, that's milk. that's it? Yeah. Oh, that's probably good then. Let's try the drink first. Do it Yes. One, two, three. I like it! Pretty good. That's actually good. I thought I wanna drink it casually, but I like it. I knew this was gonna be good. Mm. Now time for the cake and milk. Cake and milk, y'all. All the milk. Oh, I should've got two forks. I think this is gonna be better than regular just cake. I actually add almond milk to my ice cream to water it down because I think it's better. And I think this is gonna be better. Cause it's not gonna be as bready. It makes it more moist. She said Cheers. moist. Y'all like that word moist? Cheers. I like this. I like it better than regular cake. It feel like soggy food or soggy cake. This, this is it. Call me a soggy girl. Yeah. No. Way better than regular cake. I, I try one more. Yeah, I don't know why I keep eating it, but like the soggy is. You know, soggy cereal and just like that. Because normally I can't even eat cake. What are you? What are you I mean, doing? I kind of like it though, but <laughs> you're so fake. No, I, <laughs> now I'm doing it here. You don't like this? Yes, Next up is tortilla chips and Nutella. Help me. I go first though. I feel like tortilla chips don't really have a taste, so it might not taste too bad. Three, two, one. I like it. <laughs> Mommy or something. 
I like it because it's salty. It's like a pretzel with chocolate. Shoot. Yeah, I think it's not big enough. It's literally breaking inside the Nutella. It's like a pregnant. Because all the weird food combinations. Yeah. Next, we have chocolate and tajin. I used to call this tajin. Everyone in my family used to call it tajin. This might not be it, but we'll see. Normally, I'd rather put tajin on savory things. Like, I actually put them on baked potatoes and stuff. I never really like it on sweet stuff. I know some people put it on fruit. It's on the little shelf in the Hershey. You gotta clear your palate. You gotta drink some drink. That's a good one. I like that. Cheers. Nah. Uh -uh. It's not bad, but not good. I was waiting for the Italian to go away. No, I don't really like chocolate either, so it just wasn't for me. So I have Ruffles cottage cheese, which is what someone commented. And then a lot of people were responding to add black pepper and cherry tomatoes. We're gonna try it all together. So that's pepper? Yeah, that's pepper on top. I'm just gonna put a tomato. So many people were commenting and telling me to do stuff with cottage cheese. And like, I'm not a big fan of cottage cheese. I don't really remember how it tastes, but I don't think I like it. It doesn't really have flavor. Let me try it with just the cottage cheese. Oh, no. It's all right. It has no flavor. You might as well just use French onion dip. It's just cold. Yeah, it was cold. I had to like move around my teeth. It's good. It's like cold wood. The chips are the only good thing with flavor. Everything else has no flavor. I agree. Need some seasoning, I guess. But cottage cheese just tastes like chunky sour cream. But not even that. Sour cream has a better taste. Maybe the cold makes it kind of good, I guess. It's not nasty, though. So. I wouldn't choose that over French onion dip. I can't believe people like cottage cheese. You eating the f out of that cottage cheese, it's though. Not bad, actually. No, I think it's a texture. Made a texture. Some people like it. <laughs> Here's Stormy crunching on a chip in the other room. She apparently found one. <laughs> she was rubbing. Yeah, I like it, actually. It took you a whole plate just to realize. <laughs> Hey, you like it? If it's a texture, like I think it is, yeah, I see why people like it. The coldness and like how the cheese feel. I don't know about the tomato though, but you gotta poop soon. No. I'm just still food. Still me the chocolate? Yeah, let's see her. Kevin, I do not got a poo poo. If you don't know, This is what being married is like. You know each other's poop schedule. No, she does it right before we go to bed. When she does that, I get her water ready, put it by her, her side of bed. Like every night. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I just got a bed waiting for Okay, her. I know you're not talking. You stay on the toilet for three hours. Not three hours, three but. A long time, especially before he takes a shower. You should try the Hershey chocolate with cottage cheese. No, I'm done. No. Hershey chocolate cottage cheese. I know people eat sweet stuff with cottage cheese, so. Yum. She did this for no reason. Like, it was not in the coffin or anything. She just torturing herself at this point. Try it. No. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 